Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and today I'm talking within the Bozeman Biology YouTube site, and I'm doing that because I want to show you some of the features that you may or may not understand or know. First thing I would tell you to do is please, let me grab this, please at the top of the screen there's a subscribe button, and if you're interested in these videos, uh, click on the subscribe button. That does a few things. Uh, number one, every time a new video comes up, you'll be able to see it. Uh, immediately and the other thing is that it allows you to now start liking videos or commenting on videos because you'll have to set, set up a YouTube account so even though you may not want to add your own videos to YouTube if you do this it kind of brings it at community uh, next to you another thing I found is that sometimes people can't find where the videos are so if you look way up in the corner there there is a search box and so if you click in the search box um, basically let's say you're studying meiosis click on meiosis or search meiosis and it's going to bring up all the videos related to meiosis and it does a pretty good job of putting those in order. Um, you could also, if you look over um, right over there, there should be a little spot where next to my name it says send a message. So if you want to send me a message in YouTube, you could do that. That'd just be a personal message. You could also put a comment. Some people are confused where the comments, comments now go. If you click on the feed right here, it's going to show things that I've done, videos I've recently updated, but then if you click on comments, it shows you the comments. So you can see comments from other viewers, you can ask me a question, you can see if I, I answered it. So that's another way to kind of communicate right there. Also, if you're looking for videos, a great place to look is in the playlist. And so I've taken some time to make some playlists down here at the bottom. So if you're doing AP Biology, maybe it's the night before the exam, you click on AP Biology. It's going to have all the videos that you should watch in order. This is how, the order at which I teach them in school, all the way from an intro and in biochemistry up to ecology at the bottom. So you could do that, or let's say you're doing a lab and you want to click on the AP Biology Lab, it shows all the labs in order um, that we do. They Sometimes we refer to these as like the dirty dozen. Um, there's also though going to be information on chemistry, earth science, I've taught some physics uh, in my physical science class, or just science in general, so I organize those down here. This one probably won't go into a, a playlist, but I do have like educational and video blog ones as well. And so those are ways that you can um, get more out of the site. If you look over here on the side, you could follow on Twitter or this Facebook is like a fan page. So you can go there and have discussions there if you're into Facebook as well. I try to look at all of these things and give you an easy avenue that you can communicate. The last thing I wanted to show you is my own website. So I have a website called bozemanscience.com. When you click go there, it'll essentially have the recent video blogs that I've done. You could read a little bit about myself. If you really want to send me an email, this will buzz my phone. You put your name and your email address here and your subject and uh, that'll shoot an email off to me. Um, I've also organized like science videos by content area over on the side. It's all pretty searchable. Um, educational videos. This is a FAQ that I put together. It's a video that basically answers the majority of the questions that I get from the emails. And so before you shoot off that email, you may want to see if it's in the FAQ. And then this is something I've been working on recently. This is where I'm going to organize all the videos. So these are the new AP Biology Video Essentials. I have all of them here, so if we click on the abiogenesis one, it'll bring you to that video. But what I also did is bought a uh, little Google account, so if you really have to have a video, let's say you're in a school where they block YouTube or you want to put it on your iPod or something like that, if you click on movie, it'll download the video file. Now the problem with Google is it'll say that we're unable to scan it, they have like a maximum size you can have it and they can scan it for viruses. And so uh, if you're brave, you can click on download anyway, and it's essentially going to download that video uh, from my server, and then you have a copy of it. Uh, these are all uh, MP4s, and so they should be able to play on, on most of the computers that you have. And so I've done that by the labs. I've organized it by the Concepts and Connections book. And so I'll try to add more of these, just ways to organize the videos. And so uh, that's kind of a tour around the site. Uh, hopefully you learned a few things that you didn't know, uh, and I'd love to hear feedback from you. And thanks for watching, and thanks for coming.